A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand, and those born of your stock like its grains, their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. Responsorial Psalm those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works.
Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that, as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert, and with lighted lamps to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.